Dickard. It's Thursday night, and I'm very ready for Friday tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, first thing early, Canon Zen 5 is going over to HG Performance, not HQ Performance, and I believe there's an HM Performance in San Diego as well, but HG, is that what I said? One of those, the right one. It's going to the right place tomorrow. We've been dealing with alignment problems four or five years since we've been there. Um, it's between 40 and 60% of cars need to go back to get fixed. So generally to go straight, you're between 11.30 and 12.30 on, oh God, almost all of those alignments. You take it back, they fix it, it's still not perfect, but it's better. Uh, every once in a while, I think they blindly get one right. And then every once in a while, it's like nine o'clock, 9.30 or 2.30, three o'clock is straight and you just have the wheel turned a quarter turn. How they don't test drive these, I don't understand. I, I don't know if the technician just has one eye and he's driving the car up there and leaves the wheel turned and they align it with the wheel turned a quarter turn. Whatever it is, is maddeningly frustrating because if, if it's minor, obviously if it's major, I, I can tell immediately. Problem is some of the people that test drive these cars, you know who you are, can't tell and just don't notice things like that. So I have to drive it and I'm so in tune to the fine details. I can tell if it's two degrees off. It's like, no, this isn't straight. There's a little, I can see a little bit more of the, the, the engine temp gauge than I can the fuel gauge, and those should be on the same plane. But the steering wheel isn't perfectly centered in E39 either. You didn't know that? Go look at your E39. It's not perfectly in between the gauges. Yeah, sick. Um, anyways, Kennan's was very close. And then we're still diagnosing this front suspension issue. We found this, the center uh, tie rod, the drag link, had an issue. The right ball joint is totally seized. The left one is washed out. And we thought, good, thank God, we finally found this click. If you're steering left and then you kind of quickly and abruptly steer to the right, you get this pop in the front axle. So we visually inspected everything. Everything passes a, a, a general visual inspection. There's no torn ball joints or anything crazy. But the center tie rod we found was problematic. So we replaced it this morning. I thought for sure that's it. Obviously a one seized ball joint for the idler arm and a loose sloppy ball joint for the Pitman arm is gonna cause that problem. So I was in a meeting with a guy we we're talking about this exciting stuff coming up related to the FOC. So I got out of that, took Kenan's car out, got it warm no difference. So I'm scratching my head for the 40th time, like what the hell is going on with this? So we bring it back, put it back up on the lift. Now we've got magnifying glasses. I have stethoscopes, like every tool in the box. And we're going through this. And we find out is front straight control arms are dated 2011. They're Miley brand, not Miley HD. Miley HD is good. Miley garbage. So pulled those out, put some lymph orders in and thought for sure that's going to be it. I mean, these are crap control arms. They're cracked on the inner bushings, very minorly, but cracked. Ball joint sockets were tight. I, I didn't see any grease coming out of them, no tears, no cracks. I mean, for what for the crap they are, they actually held up really well. If they were really put in back in like 2012 or something, they got a nice life out of them. Uh, took it out at the end of the day today, 7.30. Same thing. It is still clicking. We took the front suspension pretty much out of that car. We've replaced the strut, top mounts on both sides, the cage bearings on both sides. We took the links out. Ball joints are plenty tight in the links. I, I'm just... <laughs> about once a month we run into one of these problems where it's like hey the lamp i have doesn't work i change the bulb it doesn't work i change the lamp it doesn't work i plugged it right into the power grid it still doesn't work it's not possible we've replaced everything and verified that it's good and it's still wrong i don't know what to do so i'm going to ask the alignment guys tomorrow like here's the symptoms here's what we've done figure it out Maybe they'll come up with something new. I'm just, I'm just at the end of the line on this. I don't know what else to do. I got a quick dinner. I did some more mail. I've got to send some text messages tonight. I've got a quick phone call. It's 9.20. I'm going to bed early. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm ready for it. Talk then.